Now, doctors are, and, and this is what the guidelines say, are free to choose from any of these classes of drugs, depending on the patient profile, depending on uh, the weight of the patient, depending on how high the, the sugar levels are, and then doctors could choose any of these. Now, sulfonylurea, thiazolidones, these are very good drugs in terms of their ability to bring down sugar levels. Of course, they, they have challenges of side effects, and, and especially if you look at sulfonylurea, they, they have the risk of hypoglycemia. They can bring down sugar levels very rapidly, and, and therefore people can have challenges of hypoglycemia. Some of the thiazolidone diamonds are, are known to cause weight gain or edema, and, and so these are uh, you know, challenges which are being faced. Now, when it comes to DPP-4 inhibitors, which is the same class as what we are launching the product, which is teniligliptin, the risk of hypoglycemia is, is very rare, and, and even other side effects are very rare, and therefore, they are rapidly emerging as drugs of choice uh, to, uh, to add on uh, to, to the patients on, di on diabetes today. They have got very good efficacy, low risk of hypoglycemia, they are neutral to uh, weight gain, and, and overall side effects is, is not, uh, you know, is, is reasonably well managed. The biggest challenge that we see to the existing lot of DPP-4 inhibitors is the relatively high cost of therapy. And even if you look at the American Diabetes Association guidelines, the guidelines say that DPP-4 inhibitors have few side effects, but their costs may be a barrier. And I think that seems to be the biggest issue that we are facing, that doctors are facing today, patients are facing today in the market. Just to give you an idea about uh, the impact that DPP-4 inhibitors as a class has created, you know, you can see clearly that in terms of value, that overall diabetes market is about 6,600 crores. That, that's the size of the Indian market for, uh, you know, medication for diabetes. The gliptins or DPP-4 inhibitors, they contribute about 1,200 crores of this total market, which is a substantial 90%. 19% of the overall market of drugs used for diabetes medication is DPP-4 inhibitors. And, and this has happened over a very short period of time. So the first DPP-4 inhibitor was introduced in the Indian market somewhere in 2007 or 8, around that time. And within a short span of about 8 years or 7 years, it has garnered a share of 19% in terms of value. So where is the challenge? The challenge really is that if you see the number of patients who are consuming this, it's only 1.9 million patients out of the 67 million population. So in terms of actual usage of the, of the product, or of, of this category, uh, it, it, it is not as high as what it shows in terms of value. And, and obviously, you can make out that uh, the, the challenge, therefore, is the high price. And, and because of the high price, you are you're showing a high value. And, and so the above you know, statistics clearly reflect the high cost of gliptins in the country. And therefore, affordability is potentially a major concern for this uh, uh, you know, category of products. And, and this is where you know, different, you know, uh, molecules and brands that are available in the marketplace today, most of them, the per day cost of therapy is about 45 rupees. You know, and, and you can imagine that uh, this is high because uh, it, it will result into anywhere between 15,000 to 16,000 rupees per year uh, as, as the cost of therapy. Diabetes, we all know that uh, is, is a disease which really doesn't have any cure uh, you know, it has to be managed, the sugar levels have to be kept under control. And, uh, you know, it's, it's practically a lifelong therapy that you'll have to give. So you may, doctors may keep modifying, you know, strengths of the various molecules. Doctors may, uh, you know, bring down uh, or increase the dosage. They will add molecules. They will keep, you know, mixing and matching for the sugar to be brought under control. But the fact is that only this one product uh, or one class of molecule, the Cost is about 15 to 16,000 rupees per year. And, and you can imagine that if a patient has to take for about 15, 20 years, uh, the, the cost becomes pretty high. So it's in this background that we are launching Teniligliptin in India, which is an initiative to provide an advanced therapy for diabetes patients, but at a very, very affordable uh, price to Indian diabetes. We are launching it under two brands. The one brand is called Zeta Plus and the other brand is called Z10. And, and the whole idea is that 
to create a very positive impact on patients and patients' lives uh, because of the affordability factor. And this is where, where uh, what, 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 what do we offer to the patients uh, is, is an advanced molecule. It's a third generation DPP4 inhibitor. And our price is 19 rupee 90 paise to the patient, which is uh, substantially lower than what uh, is available in the marketplace. This becomes uh, a, a cost of therapy per year is 7,200 rupees approximately to the patient, which means it is 55% less uh, compared to what is available uh, today in the marketplace. And, and therefore, monthly treatment is about 600 rupees compared to almost 1400 rupees for other gliptins or DPP4 inhibitors that are available in the market. So, so obviously, you, you can see that uh, you know, this is a you know, pretty large reduction that we are talking about. And considering the fact that patients have to take this you know, almost lifelong, uh, you know, every year this kind of saving will add significantly to the benefit of, of the patient. It is shown to bring down the HbA1c level, which is basically an average uh, of, you know, three months or, or of the last three months of... Uh, we should see uh, a you know, major benefit in terms of patient lives uh, and uh, treatment outcomes because of getting a, you know, more advanced treatment at a substantially lower cost. So that's uh, really that I have in terms of uh, the presentation. Uh, if, if there are any further questions, clarifications that uh, you know you would need, uh, I would be more than willing to uh, address that. So uh, if you look at, we have uh, uh, you know we got the permission from DCGI somewhere towards the end of May, and uh, you know the I think Bombay was the area where we launched first. Telangana, we, uh, you know, just around a few days back, we have had a soft launch, and we, this is the major, the first official kickstarting uh, of uh, Telangana. So it's it's only a soft launch that we did in Bombay, and we expect that we will, uh, you know, go to more and more markets uh, over a period of time. No, no, it's not available since May. I think um, uh, we got the product in the market somewhere towards end of June in Mumbai. And, uh, you know, so we are doing a phase-wise launch uh, all over the country. Correct, correct. So, exactly. So, we are doing a roadshow. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Absolutely. What are your plans for Indian marketing level and what are your rank in terms of revenue? So, IMS, uh, you know, we are number 17th uh, ranked company on a you know, mad basis, IMS captures us at number 17. Uh, we have been growing, uh, again, if you look at IMS MAT numbers, we are at about 19 point uh, odd percentage. If, if one looks at this financial year, April to July, we are growing at about 20% plus. Uh, 